Hey y'all, it is your girl Juliana, aka Lapis Juliana, and welcome right back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. Please go ahead and show the video some love just by simply thumbs it up the video. Now, I'm going to do a vase today, y'all. Um, this is a very cheap project, okay? Really cheap and affordable because you know it's always on an extreme friendly budget, right? So here I have a vase that I found in Goodwill. And I did show you this vase that I found a couple of, uh, maybe a week or a week and a half ago. I did a Goodwill haul and I showed it to you. I only paid maybe $4 for this vase. So we're doing that. We're gonna use this foam here. And then we are going to use the floral foam as well, okay? All right, so we're going to do that. Those are from um, the Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby's. So I am going to, as you can see before, I did stuff it with just random bags that I have around the house in the, in the vase itself. And so I'm going to put the foam on top. I'm going to make sure that it's secure because I do not want this to move um, at all. I'm not planning on taking out the ferns. The ferns will stay permanently. But whatever else that I put in, in with the decor, I'm not gonna glue that down because just in case I'm using different colors, I wanna be able to take those out and put other colors in. So those won't be permanent, but the ferns will. Now, all I'm doing here is just making sure that it fits pretty much secure in the base. So I am going to be gluing it in for sure, okay? So it doesn't move. I'm leaving out maybe about an inch or so on top. Um, so that way I will have enough um, um, around all sides when I decide to put any other colors to the vase. That makes sense, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and bond it in and I'm using my glue gun that I found in Walmart, the one that I've had y'all, um, it's it's really expired its time. I had that maybe for over three years. It finally just shut down. I went and got this one. And I have to say, it's it's like the same one that I had before, but a little bit different. The same, same brand, a little bit different, and I'm not really feeling it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase another one um, someplace else, but I'm not really feeling this one, but it is what it is for now. And I'm using my Gorilla Glue to secure this in place. So next, I'm going to be adding the um, floral foams inside of the vase. I'm pushing it down. The floral moss, y'all. I'm saying foam. The floral moss. I'm going to push it down in the corners here. But I, as you could see, I am using glue, the hot glue gun, because like I said, I do not want this to move. I want it to stay permanent and I don't want to have, have the moss flying all over the place. Okay. You know how this thing is. So I'm just using my hot glue gun to just kind of secure it in place. And so, um, like I said, I'm not going to be taking out the ferns at all. Those are going to be permanent. That looks pretty good. Okay, y'all. So the ferns here are from Amazon. This is where I purchased that. And then those longer ones, those are from the Dollar Tree. And then I have other little um, things that I'm going to use inside of this vase. And again, those other little things that you see are not things that I'm going to have in permanently. I want to be able to take them out. So I did add a little bit of glue, hot glue to the end of the ferns and I'm just um, putting these in. And I'm trying to put them in, in a certain kind of formation so that way everything, once I start to separate in the ferns, it will kind of not have that much gaps. And so as far as the longer ones, um, I'm gonna put um, one on each side 
and then I will put one in the middle, in the center of the base. And again, these ferns here are from the Dollar Tree. All right, so once I've added the ferns in and they're all in place, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the florals from the stem, but I'm not cutting on, I'm gonna cut this all the way to the very bottom because I want it to have length, okay? So I'm also going to take off the, the leaves as well. All I need is just the flower and the stem, that's it. We're gonna dispose of all of that and everything else is just going to be color as needed. Yeah, so next thing you want to do is just be sure that you open up the ferns as wide as you can get it because it does come in the pack all crumbled together so you want to be sure that you open it up um, so that way you could um, fill in all the gaps that you have in the middle or anywhere just don't be afraid to just open them things up okay because the fluffier your um, ferns look is the more beautiful it's going to look once you stick those additional colors to it um you don't want it to be um too tightly cluttered with fern but you still want it to be nice and fluffy so just go ahead and fluff it up to your best of your ability and it doesn't have to be neat because ferns don't look neat when it's in the ground right but it still looks beautiful so that was what we're trying to do here and when i feel like i've achieved what i wanted then i'll go ahead and just kind of just stick my colors of choices all around the vase and um yeah that's about it I'm done that completes the look and I am ready to put it on my centerpiece honey and it came out beautiful beautiful my darlings I really do enjoy um, doing this one I did enjoy doing it and I really love how everything just came together nicely very simple yet elegant all at the same time I hope you did enjoy this video just don't forget to thumbs up the videos for me on your way out okay um, I have so many more um, things that's coming up for you guys so just be sure that you have your notification on okay as always, be safe, take care of yourself always, bless.